taking you into my master bathroom. And I just want to show you, this is the mess. This is the mess every day. And I need to organize this mess so that it's functional for me and that I don't have to come in here and look at this every day. So this is stuff that, you know, I just get out on a daily and it just seems to sit there and it has no kind of organization. So I need to organize this countertop, but that's not actually the problem. The problem is here in the drawers. In the drawers, as you can see, it's just stuff just sort of thrown in there. Sort of no rhyme or reason. And then this is just stuff shoved in there. In here, I couldn't tell you, so unorganized. For things that I don't use very often, I would like to keep down there. These are fold drawers here at the top. They don't even work. That's why I would like to do a new vanity because that is just dead space. It's done like that for, I think, another sink. I'm not sure. And then again, here is just stuff everywhere, mainly my nail stuff. But it just needs to be organized where I can see what I have. And it is just a mess now. When you come over here, this is my linen closet, and there is my cleaning supplies I keep back here because I clean this bathroom quite often. So I just keep that setting here that's just for the bathrooms. And then just some extra stuff. And on this shelf, a little bit of everything, towels, uh, there's wall decor in there. A little bit of everything and then some linen closet baskets with stuff just crammed in there. So what I would like to do is be able to have my everyday stuff on this shelf right here and be able just to pull out what I need from a tray and then put it back. So come along with me. Let's see if I can make it a little more organized and a little more functional uh, in the master bathroom. After clearing out everything on the shelf, one of the first things I want to do is measure the shelf. So I'm going to go on to Amazon.com and see if I can find some clear containers uh, for this area. Then I took my measurements to an index card and measured out how many of those clear containers that I'm going to need since these are about almost 12 inches long by seven and a half inches tall by six inches wide. Uh, I'm going to get six for the shelf area. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use any under the cabinets, but for now I'm going to go with this. I had these labels on hand that I use for my kitchen. They're the removable labels, and I got those from Amazon.com. So I like these labels because if I change this out at any time, they'll be easy to remove, and I can put a different label if I wanted to put something different in these containers. Now, my daughter has dropped by today, and she loves doing this a sort of thing, uh, doing some organizing. And so anyway, she wanted to get involved. And so you're going to, uh, well, you're gonna see her hands. <laughs> and she's uh, going to be helping me out a little bit. So we really enjoyed the day. Uh, she came down to visit. She wanted to drop by and say hi. And so we were in here doing this together and just really enjoying each other's company. I found this little three compartment clear tray. I got that from Dollar Tree. I wanted to stop in the other day and get some of those felties for my chairs for the bottom of my furniture. And anyway, I seen these and I thought they would be 
just perfect for what I need them for, and they have fit perfectly in these trays and will give just a little bit of divider for a few things if needed. But I wish I had picked up more, I only picked up two. daughter was asking me if, if I wore this blue eyeshadow, and I told her I, I don't. She was telling me it was so 70s, and I thought that that was so funny. But anyway, a lot of stuff did get thrown away, stuff that I've had for quite some time and never sort of rummaged through it and cleared it out. So this is a great opportunity today to do that, get it all cleared out, old stuff get it organized, and I think I'm going to really enjoy this by pulling out these trays as I need them and using what I need at that time, putting it back in the tray and putting it back on the shelf, and I think this is going to work. So I definitely will do a follow-up and let you guys know how it's working out, you know, months down the road. Going through this drawer, I found all of these nails, these place on nails, and I don't wear them anymore. I'm growing my own nails, and I've been working hard at that. And anyway, my daughter was happy to get all of these. <laughs> so <laughs> she got to take all of those home. And anyway, I hope she enjoys them. As you can see, doing this organizing has helped me see everything that I have for my nail care products. And what it is, I'm finding two or three of the same thing that I didn't even know I had because they were just placed in different places here in uh, the bathroom. So hopefully this is gonna help be a little more organized. Okay, I've got a couple of more of these bins to fill up and I'm not gonna show you every little process of this. So I'm gonna get these done and then I'm gonna show you the outcome and how all of this uh, organizing has come out. Before I show you the big reveal, I've got a channel shout out for you and I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Hi everybody, welcome back to Heidi's Humble Home. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Heidi, my channel is all about lifestyle and um, of course, home decor. So you guys know that I love to share joy, Jesus first, others second, and then yourself. Recently, Heidi's mom took a fall, so she's now her caregiver. You all know how I love to support others, so if you don't know Heidi, go over and say hello and give her some words of encouragement. Some of us know all too well how challenging that life-changing events can be. Okay guys, this is my final reveal, and I'm going to call it still a work in progress, 
I think it could be tweaked a little bit more, but let's go ahead and I'll show you what I have done on organizing my bathroom. I have left this little candle jar that I thrifted village. I think it was Vendor's Village, but I have my cotton cloth that I use for my toner and I use these uh, all the time. So I like them right there in that jar. And then over here on the tray, I have a couple of my favorite fragrances left out and my cosmetic brushes. I like how it looks in that jar that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. And I do love the little pink flyers. But over here on this side is just my towels that I leave hanging there. And in that decanter is my mouthwash. So I will keep that filled up and uh, I use that quite often. Now down here in the drawers, I have cleaned everything up, vacuumed it out, wiped it out, and that is all of my lipsticks. I went through a bunch and threw some out and so that all of that is just easy access right there uh, ready if i'm ready to grab a col uh, color of lipstick for the day put it in my handbag if i'm going out and it's all set the next one down is just some extra towels that i have over here my hair curlers my makeup mirror just easy accessible right there. And then some extras. The next door, just some things that I don't use every day and I'll just get down here and get one when I need extras. Over here is just a lot of white washcloths. I use these all of the time to clean my face, dry my hands, whatever it is I need. And I will always keep that stopped up. And then down here is my hair care, a blow dryer, curling irons, and hair pieces. Over here, nothing has changed here at the bottom. Just some uh, extra toilet tissue and cleaning supplies. But this is the the main shelf that I was talking about. Nothing much has changed up there. And although that says Rebecca's Medicine, that's not just all medicine, guys. Uh, it's uh, vitamins as well. And I have like a little pill container uh, that I put them in. So this is just when I need to stock it up, I just pull that out go fill up the little pill container and but it's not all medicine <laughs> uh, little vitamins there too and then um yet to get up there and straighten that one up i'll have to climb up there and i've got a couple other things so like i said it's still a work in progress now here is what's important to me uh, this one has all of my dental i can just pull that out uh, each day and put it back. The one in the back back there is just some miscellaneous items that I don't really use uh, every day. Uh, my hair care, when I'm ready to do my hair, then I just pull this bin out. And the one behind there is my makeup. Same with doing my makeup, or I can pull two of them out at a time. And then this is all of my skin care. And back there is my nail care stuff. Pull that out when I need to do my nails. So I am just loving this. Uh, I'll do an update later on and we'll see how it is working for me. And I'll let you know in the future how it's doing and what it looks like. Hopefully it remains like this. Okay guys, that is it for this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.